Greetings from Bermuda, this is Pedia Lamy, and welcome to the roguelike deck builder Hell Card. So the game's been in early access for about a year. It just earlier this month launched into 1.0. I have done one run, which somehow I managed to win. Uh, let's jump back in and see whether I can pull that feat off again. So the game is designed for co-op multiplayer, but it can also be played in single player mode. And so that's what we're going to do now. Uh, we're going to do a standard 12 floor run. Uh, there is also an endless mode, which is survive as long as you can. Uh, the 12th floor run is pretty long. Um, kind of three, four hours for me uh, for a full run. So let's see. Maybe it'll be a bit faster this time. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is create a new character. Uh, and we, uh, from winning last time, I guess, have unlocked a, new, a starting artifact for our character. From now on, your new characters can start their run with one or more artifacts. Each artifact costs gemstones to equip. Can select as many starting artifacts as you want as long as you have enough gemstones okay and we also unlocked torments uh, which is the ascension levels in the game uh, from now on you can use it to create characters with a higher difficulty setting okay so uh, we choose who we're going to play as our main character uh, there will also be two kind of ai controlled characters in the game when you're playing single player um, so we'll kind of get to see some of the cards from the other characters as well uh, I'm just going to go in with the warrior. Um, we've got a couple, couple of outfits we can choose for him, the standard outfit. Uh, we also have this dragon warrior outfit, uh, I think in honor of the uh, Chinese New Year, Year of the Dragon. Uh, so I'm going to pick that. Uh, and uh, let's go for a torment. So torments increase the difficulty of your current character's run. You unlock a new torment modifier each time you win a run. Uh, you can select one or more modifiers depending on the difficulty you want. Each modifier has an effect and the point cost. The more points all the selected modifiers have, the higher the final torment level will be you will be playing on. Uh, you will need to win a run on a certain torment level to have more torment points available next time. Okay, so we've only got one to pick from. So bosses get plus 50% health. It's quite chunky uh, and a 50% stronger, uh, which is also pretty chunky. Uh, so, uh, sure, why not? Let's, let's do that. I won the run with only one character dead last time, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, and starting artifacts, looks like we've got three gems to spend. We have, uh, Talking Scabbard, transform one Sword Slash into Heavy Sword. Uh, so Sword Slash is one of the standard attack cards in our beginning deck. Uh, and Unagi, start each battle with five stamina points. Uh, and I'll explain what stamina points are when we uh, get to them. So I can start with both of those. I've got enough gems for both. So uh, yeah, why not? Let's go. Um, okay, so this is us. Uh, let's just jump straight in. Okay, so when we begin the game, it's just us. We don't have any companions. Um, we're going to be working our way down from the top of the map towards the final boss at the bottom. Uh, on each floor, we can pick one of two ways to go. Um, and which way we go will depend what benefits we get offered at the end of the fight. Uh, so this way, we would get new cards uh, or could get new cards. Uh, this way, we get options to heal other members of our team, upgrade a card or get bonus block for the next battle. Um, I think new cards sounds good. So let's go that way uh, and let's go. Okay. So, the way the game is played is, uh, on the first level, it's just us, uh, and the, um, the zone is split into near and far zones, basically. And the enemies, uh, some enemies that are melee based will only attack us if they are in the near zone. Some enemies that are range based will only attack us if they're in the far zone. Uh, and on each turn, uh, each enemy has an intent, which you can see above its attack and health bar here, which shows you what it's going to do. Uh, so the little running man indicates uh, a reposition, uh, which basically I think just means it's going to move. Um, the number next to the sword is the attack. So if, if it attacks us on its turn, uh, that's how much damage it's going to do to us. And two hit points, that's how much damage we have to do to kill it. So it starts off fairly simple. Um, we have a handful of standard cards to begin with. Standard slash, standard block. Block works the same way it does in uh, most games like this. Uh, any block that you have at the end of your turn is lost at the beginning of your next turn. Uh, down here we have our hit points, we have our mana that we can spend on cards, uh, and any bonuses uh, or modifiers will be along here. 
So uh, this explains what stamina is. So uh, when the 10th stamina point is stacked, the next played card costs zero mana and is played twice. And then stamina will reset to zero. And so we got that five starting stamina from our artifact. Okay, so let's just hit some stuff. Uh, so it deals two damage if the monster is near. If the monster is far, it will deal one damage. Uh, so we'll hit a near spider and get rid of him. We'll hit that near spider and get rid of him. And if we were going to be taking any damage, it would show above our head as well. Uh, we're not, so we don't even need to play the shield blocks. We just hit that sound. And they all run in. Uh, okay, good. Um, now it's time for something like Mighty Blow. Deal two damage in a medium radius. A random monster in the radius is dealt an additional two damage. Uh, and yeah, four of these guys are going to attack us. Um, sword symbols above their heads, which is why we're taking eight damage on our turn. Uh, and this guy is just kind of going to keep running around because why not? Let's use our Mighty Blow. Uh, we can't quite get them all in. Can oh, we can get them all in. Lovely. Okay, there they all go. Dead. We win. All right, end of the fight, we get a gem. We get a new card. Uh, choice of Souls of Kimber. Deal five damage in a near wide cone and strain. So the cost of the card increases by one every time we use it uh, until the end of the battle. Sacrificial Lunge, deal eight damage minus your current block. And discard all skill cards in our hand. Or Knuckle Crack, uh, get five stamina and strain. Um, so it increases the cost the next time we play it. Um, I quite like the idea of having something that can do AoE damage, so it takes Swords Akimbo. I'm um, getting a new companion to choose from. Uh, so, Dr. Spark, a common tinkerer. Um, 30 hit points, no artifacts. Sharpshooter, um, basically a ranged guy. 30 hit points and starts with first blood. Heal yourself for 5 HP after killing your first monster in a battle. Or the Conjurer, a common mage, uh, you hit, I take care of the rest, also 30 hit points and starts with Bloody Grail, a random player gets a healing blood at the beginning of the battle. Uh, healing blood, I don't remember, oh healing blood is a card that heals you for 5 and then exhausts. Um, I'm disappointed the Tinkerer doesn't have any artifacts, so let's go for the Rogue, so we've got some rage damage. Um, now. At the end of every fight, um, based on the area that you chose to go to, you will have a set of three options to pick from. Um, and this is the one that we chose to go to. Um, when you're playing in multiplayer, you, the people you're playing with also get that choice. And so at the end of the round, um, all three of you get to pick one option from each of the zones that you chose to go to. It's kind of a bit strange thematically in that you're all working together you can all choose to go to different zones uh, but anyway kind of set that aside what it means is that you've got um, these three kind of sets of options at the end of each fight and you can pick one option from each as long as you have the gems to uh, spend on it so we've got two gems total um, so we could search and get counter strike for no gem cost uh, two cost card deals one damage to the monster if the monster's attack leaves you with block. Um, we can spend a gem to exchange a shield block for a barricade. Uh, more higher cost but gives six block to everybody. Uh, we'll spend two to get preparation. Adds three stamina and plowshares. Gain four blocks, six if you have no attack cards in your hand. Uh, in the middle we can get stretch, get two stamina, get five stamina instead if you don't have any swords in hand. Uh, give Honor, exchange Mighty Blow for Maim. Mm, I like Mighty Blow, I don't really want to get rid of that. Uh, or Berry, get Haymaker, deal 5 damage and an additional 5 damage if the monster has block. Plus Boomerang Shield, deal damage equal to your block to the first monster in a long, narrow cone. Uh, and the third option we've got to choose from, uh, spend 1 to have a 50% chance of getting 3 gemstones. Uh, ritual, spend one, lose two max HP and get band-aid. So we heal for three HP after each battle we survive. Or absorb energy plus one mana points in the next battle. Um, I don't know, we could go for... What do we want to go for here? Um, 
wonder whether we whether we do some kind of stamina go for some kind of stamina based thing given we're starting each battle with five stamina but i don't know uh we don't have a lot of block at the moment let's try and get some extra gemstones oh we failed okay well i guess one gem for nothing uh, let's exchange shield block for barricade. That seems like a good deal. And then we were out of gems, so we could only take this. Do we want stretch? Gain two stamina and five if you don't have any swords in hand. Yeah, let's okay. Let's try it. Uh, and the AI companions will kind of do stuff with their own decks as well. Uh, so he added a card mastery. Um, and we'll see how the companions are used in single player in a moment. So we choose our next destination on floor two. This way we'll get the option to remove cards from our deck, or this way we'll get new artifacts. Uh, I like artifacts, so I'm going to go that way. Uh, we can see what he's doing as well. Um, so his uh, zone is going to give have options to get new cards. Um, all right. Okay, so now there are two of us, the battlefield is split in half. So uh, anybody attacking from this half of the battlefield is going to do damage to uh, us, and anybody attacking from this side of the battlefield is going to do damage to our uh, ranger companion. So we see our full set of cards in our hand here. For the companions, uh, it only shows us two cards. Uh, but we do have the option of playing any card in their hand. So it's a little bit weird. We can right click and we can see every card that they have in their hand. And we can still play any of those. Um, so I'm guessing this was just done as like a an interface simplification to avoid... There'll be like five cards here and five cards here and then five cards over here as well. Um, it's a little strange, um, but it's, 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 it's doable. Uh, we're not getting attacked by anybody this turn. We've got a lot of archers here uh, that I don't like the looks of. The uh, sharpshooter can, he can, he's not limited to just attacking people in his area. Uh, he can shoot people over here as well, if he wants. Um, this, unfortunately, is useless because oh, I think he's in near, but he's the only one who's near. So that's a bit of a waste, although it would still kill him, I suppose. Uh, so maybe it's not that much of a waste. Uh, sure, let's do it. Get rid of you. Um, any special effects? So you can see on the right hand side of the nameplates for the enemies, there's a symbol. If it's a red heart, that means they don't have any special effects. Some of them, like this arachnid uh, or arachnad, have a um, spider symbol there. Uh, that indicates that he splits on death uh, and will summon two arachnids in the same section when he dies. And he has the same thing, but none of the others have anything else. He's going to increase his attack, uh, so he'll increase his strength by plus two, but reduces hit points by one. He'll be doing more damage to us next turn, uh, so we might want to prioritize those. Let's play Quiver, so we'll add two Talon arrows to your hand. So the companions have their own mana pool, which is separate from uh, ours. So if we play that, his mana goes down to two, um, and we can again, we right click to see everything in our hand. And that's where those two Talon arrows have gone. Uh, and then, yeah, let's take out some of these guys who are increasing their attack next go, like you. So we'll shoot you for two. And then shoot you for two again. Um, and uh, he has two mana left. We can move him. Oh, shoot. Oh no, sorry, we can move a monster from near to far, but there's no monsters in near range at the moment, so that's irrelevant. Uh, let's just thin the herd down over here, given we can kill him. Uh, we don't need any shield, we're not taking any damage this turn. Oh, I, okay, I didn't play that very effectively, actually. Uh, these will deal one damage if the monster is far. I could have finished off that other monster with one of these. Uh, instead, let's just use two of these on you and get rid of him. End our turn. Okay, so yeah, his attack is now three. Uh, he's still not attacking us though, he's a melee guy. So he's going to move into the near zone and attack us next go. But nobody's attacking us. 
Uh, everybody, he's getting ready to reposition. Uh, oh, he's melee as well. Oh, they're all melee. I, these guys look like they were archers. I'm happy that they're not. Uh, we don't need the block. Uh, this will do five damage because we can spend two of our stamina. Uh, and it doesn't matter the range either, so we could do it on him. Maybe we want to start working on this guy. He's got... He's got nine health. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. I'll actually see him. Wait, I target you? Like that. There we go. Okay, down to four. Uh, mighty blow. Can I... Oh, it's kind of hard to see that guy. The card is in just the wrong place. I think that gets all three of those. Uh, and then he's out of mana. Uh, we can sharp arrow to finish him off. We can... Uh, so there are cards, uh, influence cards. The green cards like this will give us an ongoing benefit. Uh, so this one adds one talent arrow to our hand at the start of our turn. Uh, I'm just going to play a quiver, get two talent arrows. Uh, let's just shoot you with one of them and shoot you with the other one of them. And uh, I'll play Sharp Arrow. I don't think we can hit him, we can kill him, he splits. These guys are not attacking this turn anyway, so that's fine. And we're all out of mana. So it's, um... Okay, still nobody attacking. I think these things are scared of us. Uh, all right, can we do an area and get all three? We cannot, uh, but we can get two of them, I guess. Uh, oh, split on death. I probably could have done that better, but that's okay. Uh, we can kill him with that. We can uh, get two arrows with that. Kill you with that. And we can kill you with that. Okay, one gem, new card. Safeguard, give four block. So give four block means uh, we can play it on any of the characters. So we can play it on ourselves or one of the two companions. Short sword, deal four damage if the monster is far, deal two instead. Heavy sword, deal three damage or use two stamina for two additional damage. Um... Uh, do I want any of those? Let's take that, given we're kind of going with stamina. And we can pick our final companion. Uh, so, we have a, a rare character that we can pick from, which is uh, something I unlocked in the, from winning the last run. It's a rare mage. Starts with 40 health and dice. The number of mana points is randomized each turn between 1 and 8. Okay. Uh, or a common tinker again, or a common warrior with sun artifact. Get one additional mana at the start of your next turn if you've got damage this turn. Let's go with the frost monster. Gotta go with the, the rare guy. Um, I actually don't mind. I don't need to see his deck. We will just take him. So he joins us as our third companion. Uh, let me just shuffle my camera a little further to the right there. Uh, it's going to be difficult to position myself so you can see everything, but I'll, I'll do my best. Okay, we've only got one gem, so we can't get a lot here. Uh, I could exchange Stretch for Bait, attack deal one more damage in the near radius. Get sacrificial Lunge, deal eight damage minus your current block, discard all skill cards. That's not a bad card. Uh, we could pick up Trowel for free, get two block when you exhaust the card. Or a random artifact of any rarity. Here, the only option we can afford is increase our max HP by three. Um, hmm, are we really... I don't think we're really exhausting cards. So, Trowel is actually probably not very useful. It is nice, but we're sort of going for a stamina -y kind of build, so I kind of want to keep Stretch for now. Uh, let's take Sacrificial Lunge and give me a random artifact. What's Lens? Your attack deal plus one damage in the near range and minus one damage in the far range. Uh, we don't have to take it. 
But generally we're going to be attacking in the near range, so I'm fine with that. We're a warrior. And this just applies to me, this doesn't apply to companions. Uh, so he's added a couple of things, teleport, cold arm, he's done a few things as well. They've done what they've done, we're not going to worry too much about it. Okay, we can either go this way, choice to get new artifacts after the battle, or this way, choice to get new cards after the battle. Uh, I'll go artifacts. Okay. So now we have three companions, so the... Uh, battlefield is divided into three. Okay, nobody's attacking us this turn. That is good. Uh, who is doing what? Everybody is moving. Shifting, so you're moving to a different section. Okay, well, I don't particularly care about that. And this guy is flanking, moving to another layer. Uh, I'm not entirely sure the difference between shifting Ding. Does that mean moving near when they're far, basically? Versus repositioning? Because I think repositioning, they can still move near if they're currently far as well. Anyway, people are moving is what they're doing. Nobody is summoning. You are putting your strength up. So if I'm going to get rid of anybody, I'm going to get rid of you. Um, damage minus one at far range now, though. This deals eight damage. I should probably use it to do... or oh, 7 because he's far range. Uh, you may be annoying. You've got 15 hit points, so I'm going to start working on you. Uh, 3 damage or 2 damage at far... Well, let's look at what everybody else's cards are first. So we can move a monster from near to far. Well, that doesn't apply. Uh, this guy can freeze an enemy, stop it from attacking or acting, which we don't need to do. Move the monster clockwise to the next hero slice and swap its section. So we could move something near. Uh, it's probably not worth doing that either. We don't need block. Uh, if we can finish off some enemies with magic bull and we get the mana back. Oh, he's got eight mana. Okay, that is fairly insane. Unfortunately, I don't think we really need to play all of his cards. Uh, let's do... Oh, we're using our stamina for the additional damage, right, okay. Uh, in that case... I guess I am going to hit you. Uh, let's do two damage to you. Let's finish you off with a magic bolt. Get the mana refunded and draw a card. Uh, let's do two damage to... Uh, you and finish you off with that. Get the mana refunded and draw a card. Uh, anything else we might want to play? I can play mastery. We don't need the block, so we may as well play mastery for our last mana here. Um, is it worth freezing anybody? Not really. I don't really care too much where they're moving. Don't need to move them, so <laughs> my eight mana is actually kind of wasted. Um, in turn, all right, everyone moving in. Hopefully, this is where we get our AOEs. Okay, swords akimbo five damage in a near wide cone. Okay, so now you can see, uh, I am taking six damage, which is coming from these three enemies here two each, two, 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 and two attack. Uh, the sharpshooter is taking five damage uh, from this guy for two and this guy for three. So let's see whether we can stop some of that. Uh, we've got Eagle's Eye over here, so arrows deal more damage. We can draw more Talon arrows, which may be useful. Rune of Ice deal three damage and freeze in a medium radius. Add one amnesia to the draw pile. Can't play runes when this card is in hand. I take it this is a, a right okay yeah a rune a rune of ice in fact uh that's okay this stage in the game so let's uh let's just hit everybody with swords akimbo K 
kind of, I don't know, where can we get as many as possible? I guess we want to kill as many as possible that are actually going to cause damage on this go. So if you go there. Uh, so now he is taking three from that, but now we can use uh, Rune of Ice on all of those guys, basically. Kill a bunch of them and freeze the other, and now we're not taking any damage. Uh, we can Magic Bolt you to kill you, get some mana back. Uh, we can play that to exhaust it. We've got six mana this turn. Apparently RNG is working in our favour. Uh, we've got loads of little dudes spawn now, but that's fine. We can pick them off with our arrows. Uh, we kill you, we'll kill you with that. Um, we'll play a Quiver to get two more Talon Arrows. Uh, we'll get rid of you. So Talon Arrow will hit whichever is the nearest enemy to us in the cone. Um, so it's pretty good, but sometimes you know, if we wanted to hit this guy at the back here with it, we wouldn't be able to unless we kind of kill this guy first and then positioned in the cone over here sort of thing. Um, who is... I think we just want to keep picking off these guys. We don't really mind. Because there's so many, I'm just going to get as many talent arrows as I can. Let's pick off one of those as well. Um, so I still have... Uh, some attack left. Use stamina to do more damage. Six damage. Uh, i kill this guy first, I think. With that and that. And we don't need the block. No. He's still frozen. Interesting, okay. Uh, next move or attack intent will fail and end this day. I guess maybe he wasn't moving or attacking last go then. Why are you still frozen? Uh, okay, so Sword Slash has been webbed uh, because we killed a spider with it. Uh, so playing a web card discards the card, but it doesn't do anything. That's okay. I don't think we need to worry about that too much. We can do Mighty Blow. Uh, we still get the damage penalty from enemies that are far. So I'll just play that there. God, there are a lot of spiders. Uh, I want to kill you though. I can. Magic Bolt, finish you off. Uh, and I guess we're just going to pick these things off. Uh, one by one. So we'll hit you with a Talon Arrow. Um, we don't actually need the extra damage here. Uh, I guess I could play it anyway. Uh, what have I got left? I've got two left. I'll add a Talon Arrow to my hand every turn. Why not? Magic Bolt, you, and that's basically it. End. One spider attacking. Uh, again, an AoE would be nice. Steal your rune. We get that guy in, we can. Get rid of all of those. Tell an arrow you. Play quiver. Tell an arrow you, and we're done. And we're done. Are we? Is somebody else hiding somewhere? Ah, oh, you're hiding down there. Okay. Tell an arrow you as well then. One gem and cross blades. Add two random attack cards to the draw pile or crown your sword steal plus two damage. Uh, or dread, give plus two block to all heroes after you kill a monster. Uh, I had this card in my last run and it was really good. Uh, so I'm going to take it. Don't really have much of a way to get a block at the moment. Okay, we've still only got one gem. We can get Torn Button for free, plus eight max HP. That seems pretty good, I'll take that. Get Toy Compass for free, one mana every time you play five skill cards in a single turn. 
Um, it's probably not going to be that useful. But sure, why not? Uh, and all of these are coming to me, even though this is over kind of the Frostmancer's side of the board. Um, I get everything. I want to pay one to increase max HP by three. We may come across, or we will come across, um, new companions later on that we can replace old companions with. So, I don't know, do I want to invest this in him? Do I want to just save? I think I'll just save my gems for now, actually. Uh, they have done stuff. And on to our first boss. Our voracious corpse is guarding a camp where we will be able to heal ourselves. Looks like a voracious corpse. Oh, he's, he's a whopper. Um, special whopper's rib spawns a new skeleton warrior every time it receives damage. Oh god. Okay. Uh, you're a voracious corpse. Uh, each time this monster gets hit, all zombies get plus one strength. Uh, and uh, you can see some of these guys have green hearts on the right hand side. That means they have rotten, so they return one damage when we hit them and don't kill them. It looks like a lot of things are rotten. Okay. Uh, this guy is summoning as well. Fun. This guy will web the card that kills it. But at least nobody is attacking us this turn. Alright, so... We kind of don't want to hit him until all the zombies are dead. We only want to do big hits on him. Um, yeah. Anybody that's rotten, ideally, we would like to kill. Can this do much? No, only one guy is near. Let's get Swords Akimbo at the wrong time. Uh, let's see. Why don't we... Why don't we pop Eagle's Eye? So arrows deal plus one damage in far range for three turns. Then... Uh, yeah, let's just get ourselves queued up. So, mastery, add one talent arrow to your hand at the start of your turn. And then quiver. Two talent arrows right now. Uh, that's doing three damage. Oh, because it's far. Uh, okay, we can kill you. Let's kill you. Guess we'll kill uh, that guy over there as well. And he's out of mana. I could kick him back. I don't really need to. Go over here. Bat bolt. Deal two damage. If it kills a non summoned monster, heal yourself for three. If you don't need to heal at the moment, we're alright. This is just two damage, so just kill him. Uh, do we need to free? Yeah, we could freeze him actually, and that will stop him summoning. Um, hmm. I don't want to give the monsters strength though, so I'm just gonna freeze. And then Rune of Ice, three damage and freeze. Why don't we do that over there? don't need the block. We don't need to rotate anybody around. Uh, I don't have anything that moves anybody closer. So let's just play that just to kill you. Uh, sword slash. It's not going to do very much. But I might as well play it. Put one damage on you. And then... I don't have any swords in my hand, so we'll play that. And that gives us 10 stamina, so now we've triggered this. The next played card is free and is played twice. Hopefully that carries over to next turn. I think it does. It's 
So what would we like to play twice? He's taking eight damage from this guy. Um, the symbol on the left of the nameplate is, I think, the attack type. So a little uh, question mark or staff, I guess it is. And he gets magic damage. Sword is melee damage. And yeah, magic can attack from both near and far ranges. Uh, eight is a lot. Hmm. Okay, this next card gets played twice. I mean, we could give everybody 12 block, but that's kind of more than we need, really. Uh, every time we hit you, what happens? You summon a new skeleton warrior. This is only going to do 4 damage, yeah, because we don't actually don't have any sta uh, stamina anymore. What else have we got going? Uh, Quivers, Clockwork Arrow, Brutal Thor, your bolts deal plus 1 damage to frozen monsters. Okay. Is he, so he's, every time he gets hit, zombies get plus 1 strength. He is not a zombie. Do you have any zombies left? Did we kill them all? I think we might have... Oh no, he's a zombie. Okay. He's a zombie. This is not super great. We don't have that much. But I guess we've also got seven mana as well. So we may as well play it. Uh, give one block to everybody. One block to everybody. One block to everybody. Uh, I think I, I would still rather kill somebody with that for the extra mana back and drawing a card. So why don't we shoot you? Oh, whoops, I did three damage. Okay, I didn't mean to kill you. I'm sorry. I want to shoot you for three damage. And then finish you off with that. Chili blow, freeze in a medium radius. That sounds better. And we can freeze that guy. Stop him hitting us for eight. Good, okay. Uh, so what's that leave? Sharpshooter can shoot some stuff with arrows. Let's shoot him. And... Uh, yeah, play Quiver for two more Talon arrows. I don't know, who do we want to... Well, I should be focusing down. He's about to get a load of armor. Let's just take out uh, the other guys while we can. Take you out. He's out of mana. Uh, so... We'll do three damage to him. Oh wait, the next one is still getting played twice. And we... Oh, only one damage. Play that twice for what it's worth. And, okay, oh uh, yeah, you're summoning. You're the one that gives the extra uh, attack, uh, strength to zombies. Oops. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> oh, I don't really want any more. Well, I say I don't really want any more. He has block, so there's no point hitting him because the block's going to go away at the end of this turn anyway. And this guy is pretty nasty, I guess, but we're only doing two damage if we hit him. I'm going to hit you for four. Summon another skeleton. And again, fine. Just hope we get a good AoE next turn. Although they may actually all stay there because they didn't have any intents because they were summoned on that turn. Yeah. Got a bit more time. Five damage coming from here and here. Okay. Um, one damage coming from this guy. All right. Uh, 
Let's pop Dread. So gain two block to all heroes after you kill a monster. And... It's doing nine damage. Where is it most effectively used? I don't want to stop some of the damage coming in on him is what I'm thinking. Even though this does more damage, I'm just going to hit him with that. Give everybody a bit of blocks. He's almost fully blocked. And we take this guy out. Can't play runes when that card is in hand. Uh, we could just freeze him. Just freeze you. Get rid of that. And then try and get as many of these in one as we can. Uh, are our magic bolts still doing? Yes, extra damage to first. Oh, we're out of mana. Okay, that doesn't matter. We're out of mana here, so we just got three mana for the sharpshooter left. Uh, let's play Eagle's Eye. Extra damage. Ray, enemies at range. Three damage. Three damage. God, it's so low. Okay, well, let's work on him. Oh, he's got his rotten attack. That's right. We hit him and don't kill him. Does one damage back to us. It's mildly annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna kill you. And end the turn. Lots of incoming damage. 16 damage. 15 of which is coming from the Whopper. Can we kick him back? We can kick him back. Uh, okay, I am tempted to do that. Uh, we have Mighty Blow. We want to kill as many people as possible with that, and then that will give everybody else block. So we could do... Can I get all four? No. Do that. Kill three gives us six block. Um, okay, if I kick him back, he won't be able to attack because he's got melee. So then there'll only be eight damage coming in there. Six of it's been blocked anyway. So. This guy really does need to go there. How much damage can we do? Four with that. Yeah. Great, but I guess make a start on it. And uh How much uh, health has he got? Four. Okay, let's just we chip away at him or do we kill off the others? Ah, let's just chip away at him. Although not for one damage. Ah, quiver. Quiver. Uh, I guess I can hit him even though he's got rotten because I've got plenty of block and I'm not using it this turn. So, goodbye. Then get rid of you. And then let's do a bit more damage to you. And Frostmonster has four left. Let's get rid of Amnesia. Uh, let's... 
Again, we don't need the heal. Ah, uh, we can play Ethereal Shield, I suppose, and then again, and then that stops him taking any damage. And then just two damage to you. And we're all out of mana, done. Okay, these guys... Yeah, 15 is bad news. We should try to kill him, I think. Might be a smart thing to do. Freeze in a medium radius. That may be a smarter thing to do. We get everybody? We can. Okay, good. Alright. At least stopped us taking damage. Uh, and then, I guess, do what we can. Stretch. A uh, heavy sword. We'll do six damage there, six damage there. Oh, this has got to be the priority. He's got way too much health. Three damage there. Two, let's just kill that guy. Oh, actually, the magic bolt would have killed him. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, let's do sharp arrow on you. Uh, sharp arrow on you. If I kick this guy away, that may stop him attacking his next go as well. A magic bull on, uh, well, you. And I think that is all we can usefully play. We don't need the block. Yeah, it feels like we've got way more block in our deck than we need. Wait. Where is this thing coming from? Why? Why was a puffy corpse summoned? This guy is doing an AoE attack, so he's damaging all of us for three. Hmm. Okay, this guy's got to go. Do six damage. We'll do not very much damage. We can rune of ice all of them. Um, which I guess we should. Oh. Okay. Actually took the damage back from Rotten, I guess. Okay, we only took three damage. Yeah, one, two, three of them are on. Okay. Um, fine. Be like that. Take six damage on both of them. Uh, you can do a rotten attack even when he's frozen. That's annoying. damage on him. God. We're really not doing a lot of damage. Let's do Bat Bull on you. Magic Bull on you. We can't do because we're out of mana. What we can do is that. Uh, except this guy is a... Oh no, there we go. If we do it there, we get him. Good. Okay. One annoying guy down. You now have 17 attack though. That's scary. I'm going to play Eagle's Eye. Four damage. God, it's just not much. Okay, play Quiver. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to hit that guy first. Okay, well, fine. We'll get rid of him. Play Quiver again. Hello, skeleton. Hello, skeleton. Gotta do it. Out of mana. Done. 
Hello, big skeleton. You're going to smack us in our face by any chance? You are, and you're doing a powerful attack that deals double damage. So 30 damage coming into the sharpshooter. You're leaving with three hit points. Uh, not really having that, so you're going to get kicked back if I can't kill you. However, can I kill you? Sacrificial lunge, nine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Do that. And then we'll hit you with that. And you're gone. And we're not taking any damage. This guy is trying to summon again. Let's get rid of Amnesia. Whoa, he only had one mana. <laughs> I should be checking that every time, really, shouldn't I? It's randomized between one and eight. Uh, oh well. So I guess we play that to run Webbit. Uh, it's not going to do anything. And then we're just left with a sharpshooter again. So. Uh, let's take the extra damage in far. Then. Uh, yeah, we might as well use some of our armor against Mr. Rotten. Oh no, he's got block. I missed the block. Okay, poor choice. Let's do it against you instead. Get rid of one of them. Uh, and then... There is a danger that he may attack us, I guess. So... I'm gonna <coughs> kick him back. Then when he summons as well, he'll summon in the far zone. Uh, intent. Okay, yeah, it is him that's summoning. The pink hexagrams mean uh, this enemy is summoned, which means everything apart from him is summoned. Um, yeah, I should be trying to do something about that. What can we do here? Uh, Swords Akimbo. I guess if we do that. And then we're out of mana. Oh my god. All you've got is ethereal shields. Okay. Well, let's do a... Actually, if we do a sharp arrow here, hit him for one, and then we finish him off with this, he will at least get a mana back and draw, which gets his ruin of ice. Nice. Let's do that on you three. And then... Oh, we just got to focus this guy down. Oh wait, that's doing three damage. It's doing four damage, that's better. I'm going to get this guy out of the way so I can hit him. Actually, no, I don't. I can just do it there. He is a zombie, isn't he? He's getting stronger every time we hit him. That is terrifying. Okay, everybody's out of mana, enter. Summoning again. Would you stop summoning? It's really annoying. Get rid of that. Okay, seven mana. Uh, let's freeze you. We have nine damage coming in from this guy. Okay. Let's boost your damage. <sighs> K. 
Can we kill him? How much damage does a Talon Arrow do? Three. And he's effectively got 12. Uh, so that's fine, we can kill him. You're going to need some protection from his... Uh, from his rotten ability though, so I'm going to play Shield Block to give him to block and then again and that will then let him play that and not take any damage does this do any more it shouldn't do no okay quiver quiver and then talon arrow talon arrow talon arrow I'm gone okay good and Talon Arrow on you as well, uh, which was silly because he's got block. Um, I mean, we can keep, keep it in these guys, but we're going to take damage. So let's not. I think it's unfair that he can summon while he's frozen. But I, I guess the description of frozen is, it just means his next move or attack at intent will fail. And still summon when you're frozen. <sighs> okay. Uh, another rotten guy. Uh, oh, Swords of Kimber, the cost of it, thanks to Strain, is now up to four, which basically makes it unplayable. Uh, does count as a swords card, okay. I'm not taking any damage. Let's barricade everybody. And then we can at least use attacks. And take the wrong damage back without worrying about it too much. So I guess let's try and kill that guy. Um, let me play that. Down to one so we can finish him off with that. Draw. Let's just get rid of that. And just leaves one mana for us, so we might as well play stretch. And uh, everybody's frozen already anyway, so that does nothing, so just end. Not taking any damage. Sacrificial lunge, let's get rid of you. Just hit this other guy for all we can, I guess. Uh, what's that? That does four. That does one. Okay, fine. Let you put four. Um, Eagle's Eye for more damage. More damage to you. Re damage to you. Reese doesn't stop the wrong damage either. So I guess hit you for one for what it's worth. Oh, we could have frozen him and then we would have hit him for two. Okay, well, not a big deal. Uh, put Ethereal Shield up and then that will let him hit without taking any more damage. We got one left. This isn't going to kill anyway, so I'm just going to end my turn there. You summoned three dudes? I suppose it was the little guys. Alright. Fine. Let's... Let's kill you. Gives everybody shield. 
then we uh, we tell an arrow you oh okay increases their attack that's fine finally get rid of you with a talon arrow talon arrow done okay a little bit harder than normal I guess that was our first boss fight, so we're up against the Torment modifier then, so they had 50% more hit points than they would have done normally. Anyway, uh, Sticks and Stones deal damage equal to your block. Battle juice gain 5 stamina, all heroes get 2 mana and draw 2 cards. This is really nice. Low gain 1 block every time you play an attack card. Also nice the potential for playing it multiple times and getting multiple block every time we play an attack card. Uh, we do, I mean, we do already have um, we do already have Dread that is giving us block when we kill which makes sticks and stones almost worth picking up now. Ah, I gotta take battle juice. I gotta take battle juice. Onwards. So we've got four gems. Stash remove one out of three randomly selected cards from your deck. Select a card from your deck to start future battles with that card in hand. Uh, we set the number of companions location selection changes. Uh, I don't think we can do that anyway. Not even sure what that means. That might be multiplayer specific. Heal for plus one HP, increase our max HP, <laughs> heal for free. Transformer upgrade a random card, transformer upgrade a card chosen from skill cards, transformer upgrade a selected card, a upgrade a random card, sacrificial lunge, kill a wounded monster with 10 HP or less, heal eight damage minus your current block in a medium radius. That's nice. Mix it into an AoE rather than a just a single target attack. Uh, let's increase our max HP and remove wow one of three randomly selected cards. Yeah, go on. Oh, I don't want to remove any of them. Uh, I can't change my mind. That is nice. Do I want to select a card to start in my hand? Yes, actually, I do. I very much do. I want to start with Dread in my hand. Go down. Okay. Choose destination. Down to floor five. Heal others, upgrade a card, or get bonus block for the next battle, or get new cards. Go for get new cards. Sure. Okay. Nobody is attacking. He is summoning. I'd like to stop. He's summoning. What are you doing? Block all gives two block to all monsters. Yeah, I'd probably like to stop that as well. What have we got? Sweet. Move monsters in a small radius clockwise to the next hero slice and swap their sections. Okay. Clockwise. And swap. I've only got one mana this time, though. Freeze isn't going to stop. Anything that's not a move or attack. Oh wait, you are attacking. I missed that. What if I sweep? All of you guys clockwise and brought them forward and then I can hit you with Swords Akimbo. Do that. Oh, 
about dread. And then get all of you. Nice. Everybody gets 10 block, which we don't need anymore because everybody that was doing any damage is now dead. Alright. Uh, let's see. Got here. Uh, more damage to range attacks for three turns. I'll take that. Play Quiver. Uh, I have, of course, completely neglected all of the enemies that I said I wanted to focus on. Three to you, three to you. I'm not going to be able to kill you, am I? No. Everybody's out of mana. Oh well. Okay, well, we've got 10 damage from here from the guys at the back and 7 from over here. 8 damage minus your current block in a medium radius. I want to kill as many as I can and then that will give block to everybody. Given that, I'm actually going to do that. Nice, 14 block. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the incoming damage anyway. Yeah, that's that's why that card is is fantastic. Um, dread, love it, love it. Uh, what else can we do? We damage and freeze in a medium radius. Uh, it's probably not bad either. Let's just do that. Uh, uh, you're out of mana now. I can do five damage here. Actually, I'll have six damage actually if it's close. Uh, so yeah, let's just kill you. Sword slash, two damage, kill you. And then we've got here three, so play quiver. Let's play mastery. Let's get a free talent arrow every turn. Let's shoot. Oh, shoot. I was looking at this guy, uh, but the spider got in the way. Uh, fine. Let's shoot you a bit. And everybody out of mana in turn. Okay, we have Battle Juice. Ice Fort, give five block for every frozen monster. 13 damage coming in here. Five from the guy at the back. But again, if this guy can just kill a lot of enemies, That will give us a load of block. Uh, nine, 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 seven. That kills five. Yep, up to ten. And we can do more. Uh, however, can we actually kill? We can kill two more there. 
60 now. We must have got three. Add a mana there. He's summoning. Which we would like to stop. So let's shoot him with that. And play Quiver. Shoot you with that. And with that. Uh, just finish you off with that. Kill you with that. Play another Quiver. Who's next? You. Okay, and everybody out of... Oh no, well you're not out of mana, so I guess I'll play that. Uh, we don't need the block. Uh, no monsters are frozen anyway, so just end turn. Lots of people attacking. damage where is 18 damage coming from five six seven oh he's attacking as well so these two and we don't have an aoe this time I guess I can Rune of Ice. Ah, I could get those two. Okay, and we're good. Anybody got one health left? Not just yet. Ah, uh, let's get more damage. Play mastery. Um, bolts do more damage, sure. Slowly two damage. Uh, yes. Best we can do. Sweep. Do we want to sweep anybody? Uh, not really. It's fine in turn. Lots of spiders. Swords akimbo. Uh, I've actually got Dread back, but if we play it again, then we can't, um, can't play Swords Akimbo again, so let's not. Can we get all of those? Yes. But it gets a lot of block again. Uh, all right. One damage to you, three damage to you. Let's kill you. Get rid of Amnesia. If we freeze in a medium radius, and this does two damage, then we get a mana and draw. Kill you off with that. Zero, two, but we don't really... Oh, well. Oh, no. Freeze won't stop him from summoning anyway, so... Doesn't matter. Shoot you, kill you, stop you from summoning. Uh, I should have done that with a Talon Arrow because I can't hit him. 
My eagle's eye again. Let's try take this guy out, or at least do some more damage to him. And a four, and a one, and that is literally all I can do. damage coming in down here. Uh, I mean, why wouldn't you play Battle Juice? Six damage there. Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow. Uh, it's not doing very much damage over there anyway. So, mighty blow there. Heavy sword, get rid of you. So many cards. Uh, that will kill you. And then we will shoot you. And kill you with that. Nice. Nine mana. Uh, All these cards are block. We kind of more damage. It's fine. What are you? And then Talon Arrow. He's still got five mana. Quiver. Uh, Sharp Arrow. Talon Arrow. Talon Arrow again. I'm done. One gem, and mighty blow again. Heroism, give four block to all heroes, or short sword. <sighs> Don't love any of those, I'm just gonna skip. Exchange shield block for mad snack. Each turn you end without block increases the bonus damage your attack steal by one. <sighs> that is better. But with the cards I've got, I'm almost always going to end my turn with block, so... Not super useful. Pacifist, your four block, take a random skill card. Use max HP, heal. I've only got one gem anyway. Use two max HP and get that. One random card from your starting hand as a cost reduced to zero. Tempting. Do it. Uh, and do we need to heal? We actually do. And the only thing we can take from here is this, if we wanted, which I don't think we do. Okay. Down to floor six. Uh, gems, mana, or artifact, or heal. That way. Okay, small number of attacks. Corrupted Arachnod is rotten. A lot of rotten enemies. A lot of rotten enemies. Hmm. Uh, shield block was free. I was hoping Dread would be free. Okay. Battle Juice is. Uh, shield block I'm going to give to myself. Um, then I'm going to put up Dread. Uh, 
Ähm, it's not doing much damage. I need to kill enemies so I can block to everybody else. Sucker Bolt. Deal two damage if it kills the monster, get one mana and draw one card. Okay. Four damage is coming from there and there. So. That will be Rune of Ice. How many of those are on? Only one. We're gonna ice that lot. Stops him taking damage. So it's just the damage coming from here now. Uh, kicking doesn't help because it's a magic attack, so it can attack from range anyway. It's a poison attack, so unblock damage adds a poison wound card to the draw pile. Definitely like to avoid that. We kill anything. <sighs> Four damage there. You stamina for additional damage. Okay, mm play that then. Set up to six damage. Take one damage back, that's okay. Let's do Brutal Thor. It's doing three damage to everything that's frozen. Ah, uh, fire two Clockwork Arrows. Uh, let's kick him back anyway, and then Arrows will do more damage. I play a Buckler for the block. Then that gets rid of him. Okay, good. We're not taking any damage. Ah, <sighs> you're summoning. So we should try and target you. Let's play Mastery so we get a free Talon Arrow every turn. Hit you with that. With that. <clears throat> And I'll do a lot else. I don't think we're going to be able to kill that. Nope. Done. End. Something gave all those monsters five block and I missed it. <laughs> eee, okay, 11 damage coming in here. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. Switcheroo, playing a rune increases bonus damage to runes by one. The bonus resets at six. I block for every frozen monster. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's play that. Ah, uh, let's give. We can play all of these. Block and block. How much damage can I do with Swords Akimbo here? I guess I'm actually not going to kill many of them. I am going to take quite a bit of damage back. Do it anyway. 
Oh, not too bad. Wait. I ended up not taking any damage. Okay, I guess my block that I did get blocked the incoming damage, which is good. Uh, four damage. Okay, you're still getting 11. I can give him 10 more block with ice four. I should do that. Keeps him safe from all of that lot. And then what do we do? You're increasing your attack. Let's do more damage at range. Play Quiver, play a Quiver. Then who do we want to take out? Can we take out? Oh God, so many of these I've got. Lock. It's life a bit difficult. I can hit him four times. Use up my block. Could hit him again if I want to take a damage. Otherwise, just do two damage there. And let's do three damage there. Focus on you. Seems to be a lot of enemies left alive. God. Okay, 18 damage and 6 and 5. Um. Oh god, why do they all have so much block? Okay, let's barricade. And then do all out strike. With the goal of killing as many as possible. Why is that not showing me the damage that I'm doing? Okay, we've got to thin them in this quadrant as much as possible, I think, so we'll do that. Why did I kill nobody? What just happened? Something went... Oh! Thanks, Price. Oh, oh I'm an idiot. Well, the preview told me it was going to do no damage. Uh, okay, well then I need to freeze you all instead. Uh, or I freeze them over there, actually, if I want to minimize damage. Okay, 
Okay. Ah, so annoying. Add final word to the draw pile. Add maelstrom to the draw pile. Deal 15 damage and freeze in a large radius. Uh, sure, we got three mana left. Let's get there. God, everything is so close. Uh, but we're not taking any damage, so that's fine. Let's... Oh, we're not going to kill you. Do we have any more cards? Oh, that'll kill you. Don't summon. Um, let's just get rid of you. And... Oh god. Maybe two more damage to you. And... Three damage to you, why not? Okay. Uh, oh wait, we've got more we can do. We have more we can do. Not sure it matters too much. Anybody on one health? Or two health over here? No. Uh, okay, so we'll just hit you. And done. Six, six, five. Not too bad. Final word. Oh, I've only got one mana though. Yeah, hold off playing it for now. It's not very good. Oh, well, I suppose I could probably kind of take him out with it. Yeah, I can take him out with it. Uh, rotten guys, though. <sighs> it's not worth hitting the rotten guys that have got block up. So, yeah, don't even bother. Kill him with that. And then... Is it these guys that have been giving them all armor? I think it might be. Who is doing the most? You're both doing. Let's kick you back. And the six damage here is coming from... Three and three. Ugh. Are we try and take him out before he summons. I think I can kill either of those. Uh, give five block for every frozen. Oh, wait, hang on there. We got rid of ice. So we could do that, but we're going to take three rotten damage. I don't like... Yeah, we're out of mana. That was not the best move. At all. Oh, God. I don't know. Maybe we can kill this guy? Maybe. Pretty 
Probably not. Nope. Not happening. Uh, okay, we'll get two more block, I guess, from that. And done. Take a little bit of damage, not too bad. So many enemies! Ten damage. Doesn't kill anybody. That kills somebody. Three mana now. Kill him. Get the mana back, draw a card. Why not? Waste the wound. Okay, I guess we got to play that then. Oh, we can heal if we kill with this. I think what I need to do is God. I don't know do as much damage with this as I can but Barricade everybody. And kill you, get everybody a little more armor. Can we stop a little bit of that damage from him, ideally? Much damage when they're close, okay. Him. Doesn't kill him. Play that to kill and heal. And we're good. Okay, so we'll play that to get rid of it. Two mana left. Let's go one, two, oh can we hit anybody farther? Not with that. Oh actually no he is far. He's also wrong. He's attacking there, so if I kill him, which I can do, and we're good. Phew. Okay, good. Done. Set. Twenty six damage. 11 of it coming from here. Oh my god. Only doing 3 damage, that's just awful. Sweep. Well, we could sweep. 
all of this lot to here. Only attacks from far range. Still be taking 14 damage. Or we f Yeah, if we sweep. We sweep how many I got five okay if we sweep these guys that will stop him from attacking and then we could freeze these guys somebody and give us all some armor. Not easily. Sweep you. Down to twelve. Give everybody armor. Give everybody more armor. Freeze as much stuff as I can and don't worry about the rottenness. Can we do... we can kill you with that. Reason a medium radius with that. No, we can't. We're out of mana. Everybody with that. It's gonna take some more damage, but okay, we actually absorbed it all. Everybody has so much health. What's going on? Uh, I'm just gonna stretch and then. And then and then uh, kick you back, shoot you for three. Quiver, quiver, shoot you for th three, shoot you for three again, and then what? Worth doing on anybody with block. These are all close, so it's hardly doing any damage. I guess one. Um, can we catch him with that? We can. Still can't kill him, but that's okay. Uh, that is all we can do. Dump. Need more AoE. 
Final word. I can now. I can afford it. Where to that? I block for every frozen monster. Why don't you get frozen as well? And then, uh, yeah, block that. Kill you. Maelstrom, deal 15 damage and freeze in a large radius. Uh, sounds good to me. Let's do it. Goodbye, everybody. That was good. Uh, two clockwork arrows. And you're dead and we're done. We're not done. There's a guy hiding down here. Not for long. Goodbye. Alright, one gem. New card. Lift, get one stamina for every eighth damage you deal. Get two stamina if the monster's attack leaves you with block. Another heavy sword. Does that mean for every eighth point of damage that you deal or for every eighth time that you deal damage? I'm guessing every eighth time that you deal damage. Um, hmm. How good is stamina really? I think I'm convinced it's that useful. I don't know. Maybe I should be going all in on it. I guess when we get up to 10, triggering the next card twice is good. Although be missing when that's happening. So I don't know. I'll take it. Let's kind of let's give that a go. Let's give that route a try. Uh, we have an option to replace one of our companions. Um, I don't think I want to. The Frostmancer is a rare companion. Uh, I like the fact that he's freezing stuff a lot. That feels different. Um, so I'm going to stick with who I've got. Alright, got one gem. That is not much. Increase max HP by three. Use two max HP and get evergreen leaf. Get healed one HP every time another hero is healed during the battle. It's not really happening that often. Uh, mana points for the next battle, yeah. All heroes draw an additional card each turn in the next battle, yeah. Could gamble it. Let's take the max HP increase. Oh, I actually did think that was for him for some reason. Even though I said earlier it's not all of these apply to us. Okay, we may as well take this, it's free. And we may as well take that, I guess it's free. Okay, so the next battle should be easier. Um, okay, so how far have we done? We have done six levels, so we are literally halfway through our run. Yeah, these are pretty long runs, uh, I gotta say. Um, I think that is going to make this a good point to stop. And next time, we'll carry on from where we got to.